Fandom Arcade. Ready? Start. Welcome back to Fandom Arcade. We are finishing up our play session with Rocket Mario versus the Moon Moles. Uh, also, one of my favorite characters of all times in games, mm -hmm. Rocket Billy, Rocket Guitar Billy, Red Cadillac. Yes, I should do a cosplay of Rocket Billy. I would. I'm blonde. I would cosplay uh, Brandon. Yeah, you would. I mean, you would, whether I was or not. Yeah. Um. Oh, so he's got a little space helmet on. I like yeah. that. Oh! Oh, that's so clever. I don't get it. Uh, it's like the spaceship is going up. Because everything else is going down. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's perspective. And now you've crash landed. Nice. Oh, this is so cute! This is adorbs. This is the cutest thing in the world! Oh, I love this! Oh, look out! Moon moles! Uh, Dan? Hmm? Uh, Rocket Mario doesn't have his helmet anymore. How is he breathing? You're slowly asphyxiating. I get that. Yeah. Come on, baby. I hate that they're smiling at yeah. me. I like the occasional falling power stars. Yeah. Uh, that one is... That one's riding a caterpillar. That's that's a thing. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's cute. Oh, this is so cute. I love it. Damn it, I had a second question for you. What's my, what was your second question? I can't remember. Is it about... I can't use the POW. Yeah, you can. It's uh. just if they're, if they're, like, falling or if they're, like, above the ground level. They won't. Oh! You needed to use the power over there. Yeah. Uh-oh. You get another pass. Yeah. You get another pass at this one. So what could your question have been? I can't remember. Was it about uh, cosplay? Uh, it was re It was actually deeply related to the conversation we were having about horror and suspense. Okay. Um, is it about a particular movie that I may or may not have watched? <sighs> no. Shit, I hate that when that happens. I do too. I think there was something uh, we were going to talk about on the episode that we talked about before we started filming, and I think we may have completely forgot about yeah, it. Something, yeah. I think it was like, Dan, remind me to tell you this. One of the problems is is that it's like we have so many things running through our heads right mm -hmm. now that it's like I can easily forget. Yeah. Um, oh, although one thing I did want to ask you, mm -hmm. um, since it's coming back to TV, have you um, ever watched Twin Peaks? I have not. I know that you are a huge fan, and I'm excited to... Kind of the original Silent Hill. Yeah. But, um... Hoo-ah. Nice. The original Silent Hill, but, um, less disturb... I would say less bloody. Okay. More quirky. Okay. I like, I like that. I like quirk. I'm a quirksman. A quirksman. Mm-hmm. Ooh, piranha, piranha grass. I forget what they're called. I think they're just. I think it's piranha grass. All oh, right. Now I'm trying to remember what the thing was we were going to talk about. I had two questions it's, for you. Remember? Yeah. Um. Some some of it was like a story about something about me. And I was like, Dan, oh boy, Dan, I've got a story to tell you. I know, I hate that I forget these things. I do too. I need to write these things down. <laughs> um, I just love the stage. This it's, is absolutely wonderful. This is so cute. It's so cute. This is Rocket Mario versus the Moon Moles. How adorable is this? Oh. Uh, I'm not going to jump right no, now. No, no, you got to you got to wait for that. Tricky, tricky, tricky. Tricky. It's pretty tricky, Dan. It's pretty it's pretty gosh dang tricky. Oh, that is by Penn the way, and Teller appearing in a music video tricky. Oh, nice. Thank you. Uh, you know what I felt really bad about? Um uh, so, no, I mean you could argue that there are many things I feel bad about, but yeah. um So, uh our good buddy Ken Hampton of Hampton's Handcrafted Sabers. Yeah. Uh, him and his wife Miriam were watching uh, 
Ninja Turtles out of the shadows. Oh, yes. And they said it was the worst thing ever. Oh, no. And, you know, I, I, I wanted to get a baseline with Ken, so I was like, uh -huh. dude, you know, Evan and I saw the first one, and it wasn't good. Yeah. But it was, like, just so happy to be a Ninja Turtles movie, you really couldn't get that mad at it. Uh-huh. And he said, oh, no, 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 the first one was great compared to this. Oh, no. Well, that's sad. I'll still watch it with you. I will still watch it with you as well. I want to see and I'm Stephen Amell going... as Casey Jones. Yeah, if nothing else, that's got to be, like, the shining gold star that, you know, barely allows the movie to squeak by on a passing grade. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm I know. Still, I'm still it, lost in thought was, about what, is, what it was we forgot. I know, I'm just moving on. Yeah. But uh, you know what was a bummer about that? I was so looking forward to seeing Krang. Same. Because uh, they were actually doing it as Krang and not just the Krang. Yeah. I thought that would have been so cool. Yeah. Anyway, it bummed me out. Yeah. Because, you know... <gasps> Ooh, Raccoon uh, Tail. We were... Oh, wait. Oh, Dan. Huh? You gotta, you gotta, oh, there's, there's enough falling stars, like, you gotta catch one. You can uh, do it. Not anymore. Oh, uh, okay. Uh-oh. Oh. Oh. Jump. Uh. Just, j you can, cause you can, like, super jump off of them. Nice. Through the door. Do the thing! Ah. Oh god! Uh, body hammer! Oh. I'm a body hammer. You did it. You did it. You're the hero. You're the hero we all deserved. Body- I am the body hammer. You missed one right. I don't coin. even fucking care. That's fine. I think you did a great job. Thank you. And how, are we, how are we doing on time? Uh, we got time for you to play a thing. I'll play a thing. Let's see what we got. Oh, man. Uh, Zelda Wand of Gamelon. I am always a Zelda fan. Okay, so also... And we've got Cloud Switch. What about Mario Mega? Territory One Castle? It's between that one... Uh... Oh. This is a musical. Oh. Who's Battle? Ooh. I don't know. No, I think this will frustrate us and make us furious. Uh, so Zelda or the other one you're talking about. Let's do Zelda. Okay. Um, Wand of Gamelon. Uh, so that what sounds. Things I was gonna tell you, just as far yeah. as like marketing goes. Ooh, this is made by a maestro. Yeah. So you know it's good. Oh, I'm I'm a Princess Zelda. You're a Princess Zelda. Yay! But so something I was gonna say as far as marketing goes. Uh huh. Is that I think that um, something that's worth noting. Mm -hmm. Regardless of how much um, Ninja Turtles did not work, mm -hmm. uh, the the new one, yeah. by uh, although, and you and I will have to make our own assessment when it comes to a when it comes to a property that we're passionate about, just because you know it's something we grew up with. Yeah, you have to accept there's a small chance. Of course, there's a small chance that you and I may hate it beyond all recognition and say it's the worst waste of our time ever. Absolutely. There's also a chance you and I might be in a minority going it's like I had a blast. That's true. Um, that has been the case with me and several movies in the past, and I, I'm just not picturing well, what they are right now at the moment, unfortunately. Well, I mean, first of all, whoa. Um, well, I love the Man, first. Like, I loved Man of Steel, and a lot of people were all like, "I'm a, no, I'm a huge. Uh, I was a huge Man of Steel fan." Oh, I know you were. Um, I mean, I had and also some we were on one of the few people who liked BVS. Oh yeah. Um, and well, so here's the thing: um, is that for me, like. My feelings on BVS, when we saw it, I was like, okay, the movie definitely has problems. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I was so happy to get, you know, a Batman that was really so close to the comics. And oh, absolutely. Seeing Gal Gadot was one of the coolest things ever. Oh, yeah. As Diana. Just, uh, well, dude, it's just seeing Gal Gadot. Yeah, let's, there's that too. Let's be honest. Well, dude, just... you and I saw Fast 7 and we're like, that's Gal Gadot. I don't care whatever she does ever again. She's mm -hmm. amazing. Mm-hmm. Um, mm -hmm. But, so anyway... Mm -hmm. Are you thinking about Gal Gadot? Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay, you doing all right there? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um... Oh, and so where I was going with that, too, is that, um... When I saw, um, you know... I enjoyed BVS, but I was totally aware of the problems it had. I was looking at it going, it's like, all right, this definitely has problems. But I was enjoying what the, the baseline it was giving us. But then I saw the director's cut. And it fixed so much. 
mm -hmm. putting in parts of the movie that literally made it feel like it wasn't insulting our intelligence. Nice. Um, oh, that's cute. that's a cute little mechanic there. Yeah. So anyway, um, we could totally feel different. There's a chance you and I could see Ninja Turtles, totally feel different about it. Because I have to admit, you and I were definitely in a minority when we came out in Ninja Turtles. Like, we were one of the few people just laughing about it, going, it's like, this is not a good movie, but whatever, I had fun. Mm hmm Oh, come the... Mm -hmm. And I think something that's actually worth noting, too, yeah. is that uh, the DCEU is primarily dominated by Zack Snyder right now. True. Um, who, who is getting quite the bad rap for his works. So, you know, I would say that ultimately you're right. Okay. Um, he can be heavy with melodrama sometimes. Mm -hmm. um, in my opinion, the way I look at Zack Snyder is that he would be the best director of photography to have with a competent director. Uh, I think that is a very fair assessment. Um, no, like I said, I also think he's a fine director. You know, like I said, I loved, uh, I love the, the ultimate edition of BVS, and I was a Man of Steel fan. I, I, and I still am a Man of Steel fan. I think Henry Cavill's amazing. Agreed. Um, and also, I tear up every time, um, Clark has the hallucination of his dad when he goes up to the mountains in Tibet in BVS. <sighs> oh, yeah. That feels, that feels good. And it, the last shot on him mm -hmm. when he's just sitting there and he just says, Miss you, Dad, and it cuts away and there's nobody there. And you're like, God damn it. Oh, um, he's Superman. But Everything's I, the worst. I think Give the, him something. I think the DC Extended Universe is going in the best direction, too, because mm -hmm. we have uh, especially Ben Affleck directing the Batman movie. And Ben Affleck is one of the most amazing directors. He's such a good storyteller. Yeah. And also, he's a fan. And then, um, you know, did I tell you who's directing Wonder Woman? Same woman who directed Monster with Charlize Theron. Oh, that's right. Which, I mean, like, I'm sitting there going, it's like, awesome. Absolutely yeah. awesome. I also love that they're bringing it in as a period film. Absolutely. So it doesn't necessarily need to, like, tie in super well with all the... You Although know, they did the say that... The, contemporary movies. They uh, One of the things that was so cool is I remember um, someone uh, who worked on BVS was saying... Nothing in a Zack Snyder movie is a coincidence. Um, oh, interesting. And uh, so one of the things that um, uh, when Bruce is off to um, hunt Superman in BVS, he says, uh, you remember how the Waynes made their money? And he said, trading with the French. And he said, yeah, but before that, they were hunters. And so uh, Diana is going to come across the earliest version of Wayne Enterprises in the movie. Oh... Oh, how cool is that shit? That's really cool. Yeah, dude, that's exciting. I'm very excited. Um, so also, um, the where I saw that tweet that nothing mm -hmm. in a Zack Snyder movie is a coincidence. Yeah, is someone pointed out an Easter egg? Um, Ooh, was it one that I have not noticed? And they tweeted it to Ben Affleck, and Ben Affleck confirmed it. Yeah. Um, what in is in BVS when he's loading up his special kryptonite bullets? Uh huh. It has the chemical symbol. Or the um, what's a uh, periodic symbol? Uh huh. It has the periodic symbol for lead on the bullets. Okay. And it was just one of those little things where it's like every attention to detail was taken care oh, of. Oh, so that that uh, that Clark wouldn't have seen that yeah. necessarily. So that was one of those things. Wouldn't when have it, realized that they're kryptonite bullets. Although he didn't know what kryptonite was at the time. No, but still, Bruce was taking care of every alternative. Yeah, prep time. Um. And so, Whoa, coins, coins with fly, wings! Fly money, bitches! Make it a rain! Um, but yeah, so anyway, that was the thing. They tweeted at Ben Affleck that picture and said, is this a coincidence? And he, or they said, oh, is that an Easter egg? And uh, Ben Affleck tweeted back saying, absolutely, nothing in a Zack Snyder movie is a coincidence. Oh, that's awesome. I like that. Oh, that's so cool. And I want to see if I can slide under this guy. Ho ho, skills! We're Two. going into uh, OT, but I wanted to for this level. Oh, absolutely. This is fun. I like the slopes. Mm -hmm. You don't get a lot of slopes. No, I think it's cool. Oh, and that's it. All right. Well, uh, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Phantom Arcade. I love you very much, and we're excited to see you next time on Phantom Arcade with this or something different. 
Be sure to tune in to us on uh, Phantom Arcade on Twitch. Check us out on YouTube. North Bay TV. Subscribe to us on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Drop us a line at phantomworkshop at gmail.com. Let us know what you're a fan of and the games that you want to see us play. And, you know, just like, you know, tweet at me at Evan Atwood on Twitter. Just like say nice things. You can tweet at him. It's always nice. And we can, like, I'll, I'll tweet back and we'll be like, I was like, you know, look nice today. And I'll be like, that's weird. Where are you? How how do you see me? And and uh, yeah. And uh, next uh, next episode we're gonna do shirtless. Probably unless it's uh, unless it's pants day. Or leg day or yeah. Or Arbor Day. Anyway, bye. Wee.